Yes, he was a lovely man, Cornell, and could really have a fight, really. Couldn't meet a nicer fella. But um, he'd grown up with uh, Reggie and Ronnie. He knew them, in fact, better than I did even, really, longer than me. And they were a bit wary of George. It wasn't frightened of him, I never been frightened of no one, but they were wary of George. And George put them in their place a few times, spoke a bit firmly to them, and deep down they decided to kill him. Simple as that. And when their opportunity came, they did. In the blind bag, that was March 1966. Well, they had asked us, the twins, to put them in a scam we had going. And we said, no, it can't be done. Time we pay all our own soldiers and everything, there's nothing left over for anyone else. I'm sorry, it can't be done. That was all right. A couple of times we had to tell them this. That yeah, was OK. <coughs> but on this day, Reggie, Ronnie rather, brought it up in the Stalk Club, Albinette Stalk Club. And George was quite firm. He said, no, you've already been told. You can't. Quite firm. But he didn't call him a big fat puff, as the story goes. That word didn't exist then, in that sense. Like gays or anything like that. They never come out, as they call it now, or anything like that. That was unheard of. You never dreamt that someone would be like that. I ain't going off about it, but that's how it was. Life was like that then. But so he never called him that at all for the simple reason he wouldn't have known anyway. Nobody did. Simple as that. But he brought it up about the scam and George quite firmly said no. So his first opportunity when it came he shot him, George, in March 1966 in The Blind Beggar in Whitechapel.